end on. 638. Good morning. I'm Charlie Butcher. And if you want to follow along in your hymnals, you can point your browser to energyxxi.org. Energyxxi.org. It's mostly cloudy and 37. Our guest is Karen Harbert, who is the president and CEO of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Uh, Karen, right off the top now, does uh, this organization have a political bias? Which way do you lean? Left, right? Where do you go with this? You know where we lean? We lean straight towards the economy. If you are a candidate for office and you support the economy, we support you. Okay. So that is a bias. Uh, the energy pipeline, the Keystone Ener uh, pipeline, uh, if we don't get an approval on that, does that mean I'm going to have high gas prices like I have right now? You know, this is just so hard to explain to people that this is such a no-brainer, right? Yeah, yeah. The Prime Minister of Canada said this is a no-brainer. It's good for our economy. It's jobs. It's revenue. It's gasoline prices. I don't know how you could be against this pipeline. Well, it, it's going to point someplace. The pipeline is going to go someplace, so it'll either uh, run to our Gulf Coast where we get the benefit of it, or it's going to run to their West Coast, and then Asia will be buying all that oil. You're right. So do we want it to come here? Do we want it to go to China? I would say that, you know, we want to manufacture things here. We want to use our own oil here. We want to use democratic molecules from Canada. We don't want to ship them someplace else for their advantage. It should point south, period. What about uh, the, con con uh, you know, the, the, pe the uh, environmentalists? There you go. That's what I was looking for, the environmentalist uh, issue. Uh, is there anything to that? Well, you know, I, I think the first thing we have to admit is I'm an environmentalist. I bet you are, too. I bet your listeners are. We like clean air, clean water. Mm -hmm. And the reality of this pipeline is it's the most environmentally friendly way to transport this oil, period. So we should be in favor of it and we're, if we're in favor of, uh, of the environment. And, frankly, these oil sands are going to be developed, as you pointed out. So let's refine them here with the highest environmental standards in the world. How period. much is this, How much of this is uh, almost exactly like an argument I remember from uh, when I was much younger about the Alaskan pipeline. Remember, that was going to cause the demise of all of the little animals in Alaska. And it didn't, no. did it? No, not in at all. In fact, the animals actually liked the pipeline, and in fact, you can look at pictures online anywhere and see the caribou resting underneath the pipeline for shade. So, you know, that didn't pan out. You know, interesting thing about the Alaska pipeline, because of the policies of this administration, uh, that pipeline that we spent so much time and effort and money on mm -hmm. is about to run dry because it can't access more oil in Alaska. You, you mean we need to open up drilling in Alaska and some other places in order to put the oil in the pipeline? You got it, and we're limiting that. And, and if it gets much, much lower, uh, as the trend continues, we could actually you know, run that pipeline dry, which is a terrible thing for our economy. Well, yeah, that would cause my gas prices to go up even further. So we have two pipeline issues. One I knew about, the other is brand new news to me. And, and also, you know, we're going to need more pipeline to move all of this natural gas and oil around our country. Mm -hmm. If we make this one so hard, do you think other people are going to want to build other pipelines that we no. need? No. So it's a huge, important issue, not only for just this pipeline, but for infrastructure as a whole. Are we open for business or not? Don't we have that problem with refineries right now? I mean, it's, it's unbelievably hard to get a new refinery going. You know, we have a saying for that. We call it the banana syndrome. Mm -hmm. Build absolutely nothing anywhere near anyone. Banana. <laughs> banana. I like We're going that. bananas in this country. I like that. Okay. I was going to ask you about the economic uh, impact of the Russian sanctions. In short order, what does that mean to the United States if we put sanctions on Russia? Well, I mean, the reality is we can't let Vladimir Putin get away with this, so mm -hmm. we have to do something. And we have to penalize them for their aggressive actions. I do not think it is going to have any impact on our gasoline prices, mm -hmm. but it is going to pinch uh, them, and it could pinch Europe a little bit, and I think we will try and compensate or make up for that in other ways. EnergyXXI is the website to go to, energyxxi.org, uh, for the uh, U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Our guest has been the president and CEO, Karen Harbert. It's been fantastic. Thank you very much. I want to get you back on the radio program if I can. Thanks, Charlie. Take care. It is 643 News Talk 1191, 1923 FM. More than a dozen new jobs coming to Fort Wayne and a 15-year